Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Signal Sierra. This board features good old-fashioned traditional camber, so from contact point to contact point, you have that arc of traditional camber. That's gonna give you all the load, pop, snap, and drive of this snowboard. This board is available in 156, 158, 160, and 163. I rode this board at Arapaho Basin on a sunny bluebird day with warmer temps. You had slush, chop, chunder, and perfect hero snow on the groomers, and I rode it with my Rome Black Label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. Since the last time that I rode this board, it felt like they actually softened it up a little bit, and it's less all mountain free ride and more all mountain freestyle in nature with it. It's still a middle of the road flex. So you have these softer tips, stiffer midsection with a comparable amount of torsional flex, which means that it's there, but it's not overly abundant and it's not underperforming. When it comes to stability, this board is very stable. You get a little bit of chatter out in the nose when you're flat basing on a groomer and it slightly resonates underfoot. You don't feel too much of that in really rutted out terrain. Every now and then you'd get a hard jarring hit. You'd feel it otherwise this thing just plowed through everything in its path with relative ease. And it's just a very smooth and consistent board. While this board is traditional camber, it's relatively easy to load up and there's a good amount of rebound out of it, which helps with its snap. Now it's not the snappiest board I've been on, but it's solid. It's one of those boards that for what you put in, you get a little bit more back when you load it up. So you can launch those rollers, side hits, ollie over that family of fat skier kids. It doesn't matter. Now, unfortunately, due to the time of the year that it was, I didn't really get to hit anything that was a bigger jump. It was probably one of the most pathetic jumps I've ever hit. This board handled it with ease. It popped off the lip. It never questioned it. It did what it needed to do. Now, just judging by the flex and the camber profile of this board, I know a medium or a large jump is going to be better for it. I just know that. This is a board that it sets down hard when you come down into a jump and it lets you just pop off the lip. It does take a little bit more effort to press into the sweet spots out by the tip and the tail. They're very small. They're about the length of the contact point and you really end up putting your weight into it to do basic butters. Now there is rebound out of this board so there's a a tiny amount of fight, but not enough that you're gonna feel that you have to manhandle this board to just do what you need to do. Just be aware that there's a little bit of fight. This does help you pop out of any butter variation that you're doing. When it comes to jibbing, a little speed goes a long way. This board's great at basic jibs, you know, your nose press, your tail press, your board slide, stuff like that. Now, you wanna aim for those sweet spots in the nose and the tail, get it to lock in, and it's gonna hold, but it wants to fight you a little bit. So be aware that little effort and just understanding how to keep your weight outside the bindings and over the nose or the tail will help you with this board. And when you go sideways, it somewhat cradles the feature, but it doesn't hug it. It's one of those boards that it can handle a board slide. It's not gonna die on you. It's not gonna kill you, but it's really designed for going to add a feature a little bit faster. Think of it more like a slope style board, if you will, when you do jaunt through the park. When it comes to carving, this is truthfully where this board shines. It really stands out as a board that's really good in the category it's in for carving. This board features Signal's directional quad side cuts, which gives you four added contact points through the middle of the board. They're very mellow, but they do give added grip, and you notice that. That helps with the ankle steering of this board. So when you're on edge, you're getting that added grip, and then you've got the ability to ankle steer this board and redirect how you're going to carve on it. Short, tight, quick carves, medium, mellow carves, long, hard, drawn out carves, and even the occasional deep Euro carve, this board has you covered. It locks in, it cuts through everything in its path, and it has that power off the tail so you can really apex the drive of the board by flexing into the center of the deck. Who's this board for? The all mountain freestyle guy that does some free riding. They've definitely softened this board up and mellowed the side cut out since the last time I wrote it. But then again, the last time I wrote it, they were actually making these in California. This was not made in California. So what you actually get with this board is a very predictable ride with some solid power. Now that mellowed out directional quad side cut really does 
help it carve better. You don't feel like when you're on edge that you're gonna be locked into a death carve, it's not fighting you. It just gives you that added grip that you want. So you've got a smooth transition from edge to edge. It's got solid power, it's got solid snap, it's got nice little sweet spots for what it is. Overall, it's a really good board and there are others out in this category that'll stick out, but I wouldn't sleep on this deck. Comparable boards, the LibTech E-Jack Knife, the K2 Antidote, the Rome National. Binding recommendations, the Ride C8, the K2 Formula, the Union Strata. This has been my review of the Signal Sierra. Do you agree, do you disagree, do you own one, are you gonna buy one? Leave me a comment down below, let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, Get those notifications, that way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Averin Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.